Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75085, the Hail Fire Droid? Half Fire Droid? I'm not really sure, another one of those sets I can't really pronounce. But anyway, this set came out in the year 2015, came with 163 pieces, and retailed for $20. So, not the best price per piece at first, but anyway, let's get into the play features. Alright, so starting off with play features here, we have a lot of them to work with. So starting off, probably the most obvious play feature on the set is the spring-loaded shooters on the top. So yeah, they work just like all the other spring load shooters where you just press on the top and they go firing off. But what's cool about these is you can actually fire two at a time if you line up your thumb. And I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of better than the normal ones. I don't really know. I just feel like they're integrated better. They don't look like less, they look less ugly, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because this is kind of how the thing actually looks in the movie. Like it has these sets of cannons at the top. And also there are some fake spring load shooters beneath them use this like piece. I don't really know what it's called, but it looks like the tip of a spring-loaded shooter. I think it works really well because I don't think they can include more because of the way this is connected. Another play feature it has is the cannons on the front, which are poseable, but you can't really shoot anything with them. It's a nice detail. You can't really turn it left to right, but they can move up and down. You can also drive it, and so these can move. The wheels can kind of move to give it different driving functions, I guess, and I think the normal one is like this. I can't, it's kind of hard to tell if it's even. The normal one is like this, and it just drives okay. I think you can also drive it, you can just adjust them and drive it like this. I think this might be the normal one. I don't know, but you can drive it many different ways. This one certainly rolls the best. And it's really, it's really rolls nice. Like, I've never had a Lego car or anything roll this nicely, which is weird, because it's not even like really wheels, it's just plastic things. And then you can also drive it like my personal favorite, which is like this doesn't really drive but it looks cool I always think this looks like it's flying but yeah there's a lot of posability with the legs and yeah that's basically all the play features the main model has now time to talk about stickers and prints so there are no stickers in the set thank goodness this would be a nightmare if there were stickers but yeah these are prints which I think is really nice they printed these like circular wheels and I think they look pretty good and they also work a lot better for wheels than I think anything else would so I feel like really good use of prints and I'm glad these are printed. So yeah, no stickers, yay. Taking a look at minifigures in the set, we'll start off with probably the least exciting minifigures in the set. I mean, there is three, so basically there's only one exciting minifigure, but if you like super battle droids, these will be exciting. Anyway, they're nice throw-ins, but they are the normal super battle droid. They have the posability with the legs and the arms. Well, they do are, they are the old style. I mean, we haven't really gotten a new style, but old super battle droids are known to be like really breakable like I've had the leg pieces break a lot so I don't really like these but I feel like they're better than normal battle droids in some scenarios like they feel I don't know a little more rare so yeah nice inclusion but nothing that special really moving on to the star of the show and this is the clone trooper lieutenant and I think he looks amazing like he has these blue dots even his torso is not is exclusive he has the nice blue arms I love it when clone trooper minifigures have like the different colored arms he has a normal clone trooper legs, but that's okay. And then his helmet is really nice as well, and he has the normal angry face, but I feel like it's like you never see a blue, except for 501st. I guess you do see a blue, blue clone trooper, but not really this shade of blue. I think it looks super cool, and I do think it's accurate to the movies. I feel like he is in the movies at some point. I don't remember when, but I think it is in this Battle of Geonosis, and... On the back, he has some normal clone trooper back printing, but overall, I feel like this is a pretty great minifigure for 2015. Moving on to accuracy, I think this is pretty accurate. I think the colors are accurate. It certainly looks like something you'd find on Geonosis. I also feel like maybe the like wheels, these circular things right here, they might not be the most accurate. I feel like if they would have used treads, which I think they used in an older model, it would have been more accurate, but I feel like these definitely work better and you get like a nice print. So I feel like you gotta like give and take here. So I feel like they're pretty accurate except for maybe the wheels. So yeah, pretty good accuracy. Now time to talk about weak parts. So I think the only piece that really is a weak part or parts that could be weak is probably the cannon on the bottom. I don't know, sometimes it falls off or gets in the way while rolling it. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, not, it's not really that weak, but there's not a lot of weak parts on the set. So I'd say pretty nicely constructed. So Lego designers did a good job with stability. This is the most fluidly moving set I've ever seen. Like, look at what you can do with it. You can like spin it. Isn't that crazy? I don't know how that is. It's just great designing. So overall, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what my opinion is on this set. And I feel like it's a 10 out of 10. 
there are only some minor problems with the set and not even barely even minor problems and one of them just being cannon on the front is a little loose and I wish it would turn left to right but like you can't do that with how the set is built so I still think it's a 10 out of 10 and if you were a collector it might roll off your shelf because I had to orient this cannon down to keep it from rolling because it just yeah it has a mind of its own so overall I feel like it's a 10 out of 10 and a great like great value great minifigures or great minifigure the two super battle droids are fine I guess but I feel like it was definitely worth it. It has some great pieces, a great use of prints. It's like the most fluidly moving Lego set I've ever seen. It's so satisfying to roll. So I feel like it's a 10 out of 10 Star Wars set. I mean, if you were a displayer, you might have a different opinion than mine, but I just had so much fun like rolling this around on my desk. So 10 out of 10 Lego Star Wars set. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of set number 75085, the Hailfire Droid. Still don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.